the way the mortgage system works in this country, it's much easier to buy investment properties than it is to buy a property to actually live in. For example, if you make 30,000 pounds a year, you, you can borrow 165,000 pounds from the bank. That is your ceiling in terms of how much money you can borrow in order to buy a property to live in. But if you're buying an investment property, you can buy something worth 500,000 pounds. When you buy an investment property, the rent is paying the mortgage. When you buy a residential property, your income has to pay the mortgage. And if your income isn't that high, then you don't qualify for the mortgage. But you can get an investment property worth hundreds of thousands of pounds because it's got nothing to do with your income. So it's far easier getting investment mortgages than it is getting residential mortgages. If you really want to benefit from capital appreciation and compounding, you want to be in a situation where you are buying multiple investment properties and they're all going up in value over time. 